Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make really easy and step by step these large boho seed beads earrings. Stay with me at least until this middle row here because I'm showing a useful trick that you might not be familiar with. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell. If you like, share and comment this video, you give me signals to continue doing more and more videos and that you like what I'm making here. Check description for a lot of useful resources, also a link to my PayPal account for donations and to the membership options, more info in description as well. So now, without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 ounce seed beads, white, black, turquoise and gold. Here I'm also using earring findings in all gold color. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches, 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use similar size of monofilament. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory but I use them to go through the difficult beads. And by the way you could check description for the full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following me. Now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys so what I'm going to pick up here in my first step are 12 of these beautiful turquoise beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop by going twice through the loop I've made. Or you could even go three times. Then I'm going to make one more knot. In this way I'm making the so-called half hitch knot or surgeon's knot. And my work is really secure. What I want to do is go through some beads in this direction. And I'm going to pick up five beads, one turquoise, three white and one turquoise. And as I'm exiting here from this turquoise, I'm skipping the next one and I'm going through the following. Okay. A turquoise, three whites and a turquoise. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. The same sequence of five. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. And I'm going to do this guys three more times until the end of this row. Okay, and here I am at my last step and I'm going again by skipping one through the very first bit of this row where I started these loops from. Okay, then in my next step guys, what I want to do is go in this direction through two beads, one turquoise and one white bead. And I'm taking a white, three golden and a white. I skip the one that's sticking out the most and go through the following. Take one black bead and go here in this white, just like this. Then again, a white, three goldens and a white. Skip this one that's sticking out and go through the following.
you see where my thread is now. Here I want to take one black and go in the first white. A white, three goldens and a white. Skip the central one and go through the following. Again one black. And I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row. And with the last one guys you see where I go in the first white bead here where I was going the whole time don't make the mistake to go let's say through the second white okay now what I want to do is go here through this white and through this golden bead now I'm going to pick up three white beads, three turquoise beads and three white beads, a sequence of nine and I'm going to skip here the top one, the one that's sticking out the most and I'm going through the following. Okay, then I'm going to take a golden, a black and a golden and I'm going here in the first golden. Okay, and I pick up the same sequence of nine, three whites, three turquoise, three whites, and I skip one and I go through the following. Okay, then I have this, then I take again a golden, a black and a golden, and I go here through the first golden one, just like this. Okay, the sequence of nine beads. Then again, I skip one golden and go through the next one. And again, golden, black, golden. And I will continue these guys off camera and I'll meet you here. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat these three steps from here. 9393 and I'll meet you. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Now what I want to do is go through these three white beads. And now I went also through the turquoise bead and then through the next two turquoise. Now I'm going to do an interesting thing. I'm taking three turquoise and three white beads and I'm going through this black one but I'm going in this direction not in this one but in this one towards yourself. Okay then it comes the other interesting thing as I'm going through this black I'm going back through these three white beads okay just like this take three turquoise go through the next three Okay, I have this and then I go here through this black one. Okay. 
in my next step I want to go through these three white beads okay you see how interesting it works then I take three more turquoise like this and I'm going to show you this interesting part one more time with such designs I always think how clever beading is and how many smart ways they are to arrange the beads so now in order to make those stay in this direction first you go from one side and then you approach them from the other side and this is such a clever move okay guys now i will continue this and meet you here at this side okay guys and here i am almost at my last step i need to add here the last three beads from this row okay and i pull now what i'm going to do until the end of this row uh, is that i'm gonna be adding three beads everywhere you see here i'm exiting out of this bead i'm skipping the one that's on my way and i go through the following Okay. at each three beads I'm going to add three more in order to do this I'm going through the first of those three beads I take three skip the one that's on my way but here you see guys I have a gap and in order to fill it I will take one golden bead I will fill this one with a golden and then I'm in the first of my next three turquoise so I need three again and I go through the following one okay like this then I go in the next turquoise and I'm taking three then in the next turquoise again I take three and when I see a gap here I will fill it just like this if there is no gap just add three three if you see a gap you add one okay and I'm going to continue this three 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 fill gap three 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 fill gap and i'll meet you here at the last step and here i am guys where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and now i know that your work bends a little bit but don't worry in this row we'll fix this bending so what are we going going in this row i want to go here at this bead that is sticking out the most I'm going to take two white beads and I'm going back in circle through this turquoise at the top. Okay, this is what I have. I have something like a loop between the turquoise and the two whites. Then I have three black beads. Go here. Two white beads. Go back like this. Three blacks. go in this one two whites go back in this turquoise three next turquoise two go back three and i will continue doing these guys until I reach here and I'll be back okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row fix it a little bit now I'm exiting out of this turquoise bead this one and I want to go through the white bead and I'm taking a white three goldens and a white 
and as I'm exiting out of this white here, I'm going in this one. Then I directly go through the following white from the inside to the outside. Again, I take a white, three goldens and a white, and I go through the first white that's on my way from the outside to the inside. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing go through the following white, but from the inside, from the center of my work to the outside. And I take the same sequence and I go here through this white, the first one that's on my way, and from the outside to the inside. Then I go through the neighbor one from the center to the outside. Okay, and I'm going to repeat these three steps until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last five beads. White, three goldens and white. Now, what I'm going to do next is go through these two white beads. Then I'm going through the first golden that's on my way. I take three golden beads, skip the one that's on my way and go through the golden and also through the following white. Okay, I have this. Now I'm going to take just one white bead and I'm going in the next white that's on my way. You could also go through the golden after that, just to save one moment. Three golden beads, skip the central golden and go through the golden and through the white. One white, go through the white and through the golden. Three goldens, skip one golden and through the white and through the golden, one white, white and golden, three goldens, golden and white. I go through golden and white, I mean, and here white, three goldens, white, three goldens, and continue this and meet me here. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Then what I need to add here is the last white bead. And I went through the light and through the white and through the following golden. And now I want to exit here at the top golden. Okay, and as I exit here at the top, I also want to go through the following golden. And here I want to add an additional row that will be the last row that straightens up my work. Okay, a black, a white, and a black. And I go here through the second golden counting from the center. Or just next to the one that's at the top. Then I go through the following two beads. The one that's sticking out the most and the following. And I take black, white, black go in this golden. Okay, this is what I have now. Then I go through the following two golden beads. Take the same sequence, black, white, black. Go in this second golden counting from the center. 
and then from the following two golems. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this adding black, white, black until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Now my earring is almost ready, but I want to exit here out of this black bead and I want to take two turquoise, my earring finding and two turquoise beads. And I skip the white one and I go here through the black one. Okay. Then I want to reinforce this joint. Okay, and I reinforce this joint here, the loop of my earring finding, and I want to go here at the angle, make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I make here a loop, and I go once, and I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I go through the following two beads and I cut my thread. Okay guys and now my boho large seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe. You also help me a lot by liking, sharing and commenting in this way you give me signals to continue making more and more videos. You could check description for a full list of materials also link to my Facebook and Instagram pages where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials and uh, you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member links down there in description. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.